So uh, many people ask me how to uh, stream the responses from the language models to a REST endpoint, uh, like a fast, fast API endpoint. So in this recording, uh, I demonstrated that um, I um, created, I have created a like uh, language model based uh, application which streams the response and you'll push it to a REST endpoint. Uh, similar to how you see it in, in chat GPT. So let's first quickly uh, look at uh, the high level design and then we'll uh, delve deep into the code. So I have actually, um, so this, this diagram shows three components, but these three components are categorized or, or uh, in the code it is built into two uh, component, right? The first component here is the REST-based API, right? We, which, uh, is listening uh, to the uh, streaming uh, or, or where the streaming response has, is, is pushed, right? As the streaming response is pushed, this REST-based API uh, shows the response as it uh, is coming through. Uh, these two components are uh, together in a code. Um, and um, uh, what it does is the first one is the response generator where I just used a uh, normal, uh, LLM chain, um, the language model which uh, creates a generator. Uh, the language model that I cre um, used here, I gave it a streaming callback and uh, I made streaming equal to true for, for this one. So when this runs, the streaming response is pushed to the REST-based API. Now let's see how uh, I have coded this. <laughs> So this is, there are two pieces of code, right? The first piece is the uh, REST-based API. Let's to take a look at that. So this is a simple, uh, fast API-based uh, uh, code, which exposes uh, the generate endpoint. And uh, the generate endpoint, if you uh, see the body, I'm getting the, so when I push uh, the tokens, the tokens I'm, um, uh, getting in the uh, body, I'm, I'm decoding it because it comes as a byte. I need to decode it into string. And just to show that it is streaming, I put a time dot slip of uh, five seconds so that we can see how the streaming works, right? Th this this is all uh, about this uh, program. This is just a very simple uh, fast API uh, based uh, endpoint. I'm using UVCon to run it on my uh, machine at uh, 127.0.0.1 port 8000 right so let me let me run this so, uh, let me do this uh, i'll run it from the terminal so that we can look at it better uh, okay so my rest based api is now running at 127.0.0.1 uh, by the way i i will post this code in my github again so that uh, if you would like to use it you can use uh, as well, right? So this is the first component. The second component is the actual, um, the, the actual mate, right? Where I have the response logic coded, right? So uh, first I will show, we'll start from here, right? It'll be better to uh, understand the code, right? So I am uh, getting the open API key from my environment variable. This is the function that I have written where um, I have uh, coded the LLM chain. How I, did I code it? So first of all, I created a custom stream handler. Right? This is my custom stream handler. If I go up, uh, this, is a, this is my stream handler class. And on, um, so this takes, uh, when uh, it gets uh, initialized, it takes the URL as a string. And if you want to give it a start token, um, you, you can give it or you can keep it blank as well. And then on LLM new token, that means when the new on on a new token generation, <clears throat> it takes the token, um, then uh, it it puts into uh, self dot text, and and this is what gets actually the token gets concatenated into that uh, text, and this text I uh, then uh, post it to the API endpoint that. Um, we just saw, right? We uh, this is the API endpoint, right? That we uh, just uh, started. Um, so we post it with with the data, which is nothing but the 
uh, text which uh, is getting con uh, the tokens are getting concatenated to the text um, as the uh, uh, response is uh, getting streamed right so this is a stream handler now this stream handler i give it to the llm i am using the chat open ai uh, the model i am using is the 16k uh, context of uh, uh, dpt 3.5 so the this is the callback and I marked streaming equal to true, right? Uh, this is my prompt template. I'm saying answer the user question based on your knowledge. I'm not passing any context because I don't um, do not want to uh, uh, spend effort in and putting a context because this recording is not to show how to uh, ground the LLM to a context. So it will answer it from the world knowledge, right? And then the LLM chain, um, I'm passing the uh, language model and the prompt template, and then uh, giving it a query, right? Uh, in the main, I am calling get response by passing the query, and the query I gave is summarize the history of Indian independence struggle from British in 50 sentences. I want it to it a little big so that we can see how it streams, right? That's all about it, right? Now, let's run it. So, you already have our REST API running here. Now, let's see when I run this program, which uh, says summarize the history of Indian independent, independence. Let's see how it streams the response, right? Let me go back to the terminal, right? See, uh, so I said crafting response is coming because the initial um, uh, text, right, is what I've given as a crafting response, right? This is right. So the history came in the history of, so see now, uh, after five seconds, I could have actually reduced it. Um, after each five second, it is streaming it, the history of the Indian. You're able to see it, right? Yeah, the history of the Indian independence. This is where it is, right? This is now getting streamed into the um, fast API endpoint. If I go to the program that is running there also, you'll see that the tokens are streamed. Right, one after the history of the Indian independent struggle from British rule. So every uh, it is streaming the response, which it is pushing to the API endpoint. Right. So that is all I wanted to show as part of this recording. Um, I will push it to uh, YouTube as well as uh, that piece of code will be in my GitHub. Thank you. Bye bye.